Well, welcome back to the Saints Path to the Draft 2019. We're now joined by Saints General Manager Mickey Loomis. And Mickey, I guess this is a broad question, but what are some of the areas that the Saints might be looking to address this offseason, uh, being that it's a team that came off an NFC Championship game uh, appearance and seems to be pretty deep and, and well-rounded? Well, yeah, I think, you know, first of all, um, as we get into this offseason, you know, our priority is going to be to sign the guys back that, that uh, are free agents that were on our team a year ago. Um, and then, you know, we'll look at some other free agents, um, see where, where uh, you know, we can improve our team. And then, obviously, after that, we'll make a reassessment of where our roster is. And, and, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll have uh, lots of opportunities in this draft to improve our team. Now, I know it's obviously um, diff difficult to, to put a picking order <laughs> on guys you want to re-sign in free agency. But how much does that shape the draft uh, in terms of the guys you're able to acquire in free agency and resign. Yeah, you know, I think the goal is, uh, it always is to, um, you know, fill out the roster well enough so that as you get in the draft, you're not concerned about a particular position. You're just concerned about getting, uh, uh, having the best player um, available and it being able to take that player. And obviously, uh, as we get closer and, and we see where our roster, how our roster shapes up, uh, We'll get a little clearer picture, but um, we got a long time to go before then. Yeah, I know there's not as many picks as previous seasons, and yet, uh, does that seem to be a concern? Considering you can almost say, you know, your Marcus Davenport would be this year's number one pick, or, or you know, your, your Eli Apple would be worth a draft pick in this draft. Well, look, you know, the, we have the picks that we have, and and uh, you know, one thing I'll say is that every year. There are players that are in the back half of the draft that end up being contributors and being real good players in our league for a long time. And so we've had some of those guys over the years, and, and our goal obviously is to identify and, and acquire um, players of that caliber, uh, regardless of the position that we are in the draft. And, you know, our scouts are, are really hard at work. Uh, they've been hard at work. Our coaches are, are diving into it, and I'm pretty confident we'll be able to find some players that can help us. You know, any particular positions jump out in this draft? Yeah, I, you know, I don't know that, that uh, we can say that yet. Um, I know I've talked to Jeff, and he feels like defensively this is a good draft, and, and uh, you know, there's some other positions where there's some depth, but I think as we go along we'll, we'll get a little clearer picture of that. Okay. How do you feel about the Saints roster as currently constituted? It seems to be a really strong roster that you guys, even without the free agents returning, it seems to be a pretty pretty strong roster. Yeah, you know, I think this. Uh, obviously, we had a good record last year, and uh, our coaches did a fantastic job coaching our team, but this is a new team. And, and uh, um, you know, we've got, I think we've got a good mix of, of young and veteran players, and, and you know, we'll see how this year shapes out. It's an entirely new season, and, and we've got to start from square one. You know, I think a lot of fans and, and maybe a lot of media types um, really don't look at it that way. As, as, yeah. as, you know, everyone always looks at it as a continuation. Is that something that, you know, you feel like you have the maturity on the team for those guys to understand that also? Well, there, there, obviously there are some things that carry over and players that carry over, but but, you know, we're going to have an influx of some new guys and we're going to have some uh, free agents that move on to other teams. And, and uh, you know, we've had some uh, changes on our coaching staff. So the constitution of the, of the team isn't exactly the same. And yet we've got a process that we're confident in and we, get, we have great leadership and a great locker room. And, and so uh, we have high expectations. You know, the coaching staff addition being Darren Rizzi, um, what jumps out about him? Uh, you look at his resume and there seem to be some outstanding things that he was able to accomplish in Miami. Yeah, I mean, that's it right there. Uh, he's had success in the league as a special teams coach. And, and look, our crew last year did a great job. We had uh, really good special teams. And so, uh, you know, we're looking forward to continuing that with, with Darren and, and, and Phil. I'm John DeShazer, that's Saints General Manager Mickey Loomis, and we are live at Lucas Oil Stadium, <laughs> but we won't be live by the time you guys see it. However, we're here at the NFL Combine uh, in Indianapolis.